So everybody's sitting in this church. They're all listening to the minister. He's giving them the fear of God, the fear of God and everything. And then suddenly the minister turns into the devil, and everybody in the church is freaking out and heading for the exits, except for one old man in the front. He's just sitting there. He's kind of perturbing the devil a bit. This guy should be running. So he goes up to the old man, and he says, do you know who I am? The old man says, yes. Do you know what I can do? And he says, yes. Do you know if I wanted to, I could vaporize you with the snap of my finger like this. Wouldn't doubt it for a minute. And the devil sits there and thinks, he's like, well, if you know who I am and what I can do, why aren't you afraid of me? The old man looks at him and says, I've been married to your sister for 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, speaking of uh, significant others, I have been without a girlfriend for about two months now, and I've been falling back into some old habits. Um, going back to this really creepy fetish I have. It's like seeing two guys in large rubber wizard suits beating the hell out of each other. It's like this really sick fetish. Uh, out of all of it, my favorite one of all these fetishes is Gamera. Any Gamera fans in here? Anybody know Gamera? Okay, I'll explain it. <laughs> He's this giant 200 foot turtle. He eats and breathes fire. He flies around like a flying saucer and his friend to Earth's children. <laughs> Essentially, he's the Michael Jackson of giant monsters. <laughs> So, I mean, after I watch these films, I'm like spending months in my classroom just thinking, man, I really wish Gamera would fly in here. We could fly off, leaving all the mean students and the angry adult teachers behind. The problem was, I was in college, and I was way too old for Gamera to give a shit out about me. Just like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Guys, we're men. We climb the highest peaks of the highest mountains. We go dark, deep jungles that are dangerous. We explore them. We dive down into the deepest, darkest depths. Why do we do this? Because we're afraid of women. We want to bear our responsibilities to them. So Edmund Hillary is like, I'm going to go climb Mount Everest. And Mrs. Edmund Hillary is like, why? Because it's there? No, because you're here. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm spending the other day watching Jurassic Park on my television at the Blu-ray, and I'm watching Samuel talk about Samuel Jackson's fate in the movie. And he's like, as you know, Samuel Jackson's character had to die because he smoked in the movie. And as we all know, the man who smokes is the one who dies. I just look at him and I'm like, you know what? You keep smoking them cigarettes, Samuel. They ain't gonna kill ya. You keep cracking wise against them hockey, Samuel. They ain't gonna kill ya. <laughs> you're, you're the only black man on our island full of dinosaurs, Samuel. Nothing's gonna kill ya. <laughs> Horrible joke, I know. My classroom hated it while I was in college. Do uh, any advice to any comedians do not do colleges anymore? No sense of humor. They take things way too seriously. I remember this one time I was performing the stand-up for my class. Everybody hated it. Finally, my teacher takes me aside after I'm done performing. She takes me into her office and she's like, Holland, I have seen the best comics ever. I have seen Robin Williams. I have seen Eddie Murphy. I have seen Dennis Leary. You don't even compare. I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, is my teacher telling me to do cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>